Greetings, Glitter Gang, and welcome back to Catherine Scraps Live. My name is Catherine. This is the second part of the show from the afternoon of May 18th, 2023. We just finished totally matting this album, and one thing I'm noting is that it's getting very stuffed, very full already, and we're already starting to see a split on the binding, which means that the space in between the pages is not big enough. So let me talk about how would I fix that. And the easiest way to fix it don't panic it's just to cut in between the two pages so you're cutting in the gutter just cut it in half okay so you have half the flap attached to one page and half the flap attached to the other page just do that All right, so you have something that looks like this, okay? All right, now, we're gonna need some strips of cardstock that are the width we want our gutter to be now. These were a half an inch, so let's do three quarters. And then of course the height of the page, which in this case is 10 inches. So we need 10 inch by three quarter inch pieces. And I only need two of them, okay? I need one here and one here. I only need two. So. So here's piece number one. And here's piece number two. All right. All right, so these are three quarters of an inch. And I'm gonna run a line of quarter inch tape on each end, each long side, okay? So three quarters of an inch by 10. So, all right, now I'm going to peel the tape and when I go to stick this down, I want to make sure that I'm not touching that score line. So just like I always say that you want to have breathing room between the edges of your cardstock and your score lines, it's especially important here. You do not want this to touch the score line. You want to see a hair of your base page 
beside your score line. All right. And then it's not always easy, but to the best of your ability, you're going to bend it kind of back on itself because you really want to burnish very well. All right. And so you can see now it looks like that. All right. And now we just do the same thing on the other side. except these two go next to each other, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, this is the first page and this is the second page. Yeah, okay. Not that it like totally matters, but you know. All right, so there we go. And then you can see on the back, there it is, that's the joint. All right, and these, fr the flaps on the front, I didn't fix these because um, it's not as big of a deal because there's only one page. So they have extra room built in that the other pages don't because there's two pages facing each other. That's why we only need to do the two in the middle. All right. So now we'll do the other one. All right, so once that one's in place, I'm gonna press it down and burnish. And then we'll do the second one. Or the next one. going in with a bone folder and getting it good enough. All right. And so now, yeah, already you can see that that gap is closing itself up. Now that we've alleviated the pressure. So once we have our cover on, should be no problem. Now, if we wanted to, so that we didn't have any tape exposed, we could take another strip of paper and sandwich it back there. <laughs> so Candy says, um, that she doesn't think she would get that straight so she would just do un the undo method which absolutely um you can if you have undo you can just pull the pages off and um yeah no problem 
No problem. All right, so I've cut another scrap to 10 inches, and this time instead of three quarters, I'm going to do five eighths because uh, I just want to don't want any possibility that we're going to have any overlap with the joints on the back or anything like that, right? So this is just to kind of sandwich the tape and to um, keep that from like, say, sticking to the soft spine or something like that. So I'm just going to take these. Like I said, these are five eighths of an inch, not three quarters. That's just so I don't have to get them as perfectly straight. I can be a little off. This is in the back slash inside, so no one's going to see it. Okay. All right, so now all I'm going to do is just line this up and press it down. And that's just going to strengthen that and cover the tape so we don't have any problems with the tape in the future. And this is, at least for me, I think the quickest and easiest way to do this, but you do kind of have to be confident in your lining things up skills and your cutting skills. Both of those, you've got to feel strong, you know? So if it's not for you, it's not for you. All right. And then I'm just going to give it a little bit of a burnish. All right. So now, everybody's feeling better. Got that lined up. Still works just the same as it did before. You know, it still lays flat. Functionally, it's the same. It's just, you know, a little more space between the pages. That's all. So, okay, so that's a quick and easy way if you need to expand your binding or enlarge your binding mid project mid project i think that y'all could probably do it and maybe you're being a little too hard on yourselves but you know yourselves best so you know i'm gonna let you each make your own decision about it but yeah that is the book so far so we have two kind of stages left of album creation, and that is we have the um, stage of um, embellishing. So we're going to get out all our goodies and dress up this album a little bit more. And then we also have the cover and the spine, and then we'll be done. So when I come back tonight, we'll be embellishing. For those of you who are watching live and are headed to bed or headed to enjoy your evening. I hope you have a wonderful evening and I'll see you next week. For those of you who will be back tonight, I'll see you later. I'll be back at 9 p.m. Eastern USA time, which is five hours from now. So whatever time it is where you are now, if you're watching live, just add five hours. That's when I'll be back. And for everybody else, 
Videos will be available in the archives. Information about that is available in the video description as well as in a YouTube playlist for this album. I think it's called the Easy Spring Album. So you can check out all the videos to see how this has come together, get all the measurements, all that good stuff, um, just by checking that playlist on the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.